Hello cosmonauts, today we're diving into a key feature, the ability to bridge Ether to MENA and vice versa directly on their testnet network. This marks the final milestone of the MENA Foundation's year-end roadmap, and it's live. In this video, we'll explore what this means for MENA's ZCAPS ecosystem. We'll discuss the implications for developers, users, and the future of the blockchain. And of course, we'll take a look at what's ahead in the coming months with the roadmap. And now is the best time to focus on MENA's roadmap, especially after Vitalik recently mentioned in his latest interview that if he were to rebuild Ethereum, he would do it with a ZK-based blockchain, simple and elegant, like MENA. Um, if I was uh, starting Ethereum now, I think, uh, I don't think there's like one big answer, right? I think there's like a lot of, uh, a lot of little answers. Uh, so like, if you think of the uh, Ethereum, if you just look at the Ethereum spec, like it's definitely maybe three or four times more complicated than it needs to be, right? And there's these other projects, I mean, like things like Mina, um, like projects that are basically trying to make like ZK friendly, yeah, minimal, simple, beautiful um, L1s from scratch. Make sure to watch the video until the end, as you might be eligible for an airdrop if you hold Mina or other ZK related cryptocurrencies. Mina's roadmap for 2025 focuses on three main pillars, simplifying the development of complex applications, establishing essential Web3 infrastructure, and enabling user acquisition for developers. Among the key infrastructure developments, we have the Ethereum bridge, which we're about to test together in a moment. The first version allows the transfer of Weth to Mina, facilitating exchanges on a DEX. A DEX on Mina's Layer 1 is expected in January 2025, followed by a Layer 2 app chain version in March 2025. A standard for NFTs, based on the work of Mina NFT, is expected to be audited and ready for the mainnet by December 2024. Several community launch pads are in development, with the first launch planned for January 2025. User acquisition support will be enabled through client-side proof generation on mobile. Mobile app support is the most requested feature from the community. While cloud-based proof generation is an acceptable short-term solution, true privacy and sovereignty can only be achieved with client-side proof generation on mobile. Native apps and Android WebView support are expected to be available by February 2025. A pilot user incentive program will launch in early 2025, with more targeted programs planned for the first and second quarters of 2025. Private certificate APIs and wallet APIs will also be introduced to support users and infrastructure. These initiatives aim to position MENA as a leading platform for the development and adoption of ZK technologies by simplifying the development process, providing essential infrastructure and improving the user experience. We'll have plenty of time to follow this step by step. I'd like to thank the MENA Foundation once again for their support of our content whether it's answering our more or less technical questions or, of course, providing financial assistance. Now let's move on to the tutorial. This document is available on Mina's Discord. You'll find the link in the description. It provides all the precise steps, but if you already have a MetaMask wallet for Ethereum and an Aurora wallet for Mina, all you'll need to do is use the faucets and the bridge on devnet.minabridge.io. The links are in the description. To start, go to the bridge website and connect both wallets. We'll begin by bridging ETH from the Sepolia network. If you don't already have Ethereum, you'll need to use the faucet first. The link is available in the description or in the document. Once you've received the ETH, you can send a portion of it. The amount doesn't matter. The recipient address will be your minor DevNet network address. You can simply copy and paste it, then confirm and sign the transaction. You can check the transaction status in the history section. While waiting to receive your ETH, you can get ahead by using the MENA faucet, as you won't be able to bridge from MENA without its token to cover transaction fees. Once again, the link is provided in the document and the video description. All you need to do is copy and paste your MENA address. Once you have your WETH and MENA tokens, you can perform the same bridging operation in reverse, setting Ethereum as the destination address. Uh, well, normally it's not before doing something that we ask ourselves why we're doing it. So why is bridging ETH to MENA actually useful? Before this bridge, MENA was isolated within its own ecosystem, unable to benefit from the liquidity, users, and adoption of other ecosystems. ETH and all other ERC-20 tokens that are relevant in DeFi or private payments, like USDC or WBTC, can now enhance MENA's applications. We can imagine private decentralized exchange applications, money markets, or even stablecoin generation using decentralized collateral like ETH, MENA, and TIA. 
What about restaking applications with ETH? For those who see ETH as money, private exchange and holding are reason enough to bridge their ETH. Whatever the case, this is a source of liquidity for Zcaps and new use cases for ETH. All right, as promised, here we are, the famous airdrop for all the diamond hands who held onto their Mina at its lowest point. You're eligible for the Align airdrop. If you held more than $50 worth of each of the following cryptocurrencies at their lowest point, you're eligible for a nice portion of the airdrop. Mina, Starknet, Polygon, Eigenlayer, ZK Sync, Scroll, and Tyco. You'll find the link in the description. All you need to do is read the terms and conditions, then connect and sign with each of your EVM, Mina, and Starknet wallets. Align is the token of the Aligned project, which is closely connected to the Starknet and Mina teams, both technically and personally. It focuses on efficient ZK verification for rollups that value Ethereum's economic security, which Aligned inherits through Eigenlayer restaking. Aligned will also provide another interoperability solution between the MENA and Ethereum ecosystems. That's the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. I wish you happy holidays, and I'll see you soon. Bye, cosmonauts.